Hello, my loves. Pisces, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are feeling good. It's so good to have you here. I am so, so happy to have all of you present. Um, I just want to go ahead and say, please, you guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded. Also, um, don't forget to check out my Instagram for testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings. I have a bunch of cool stuff on there. I um, also have a Reiki healing giveaway session going on, okay? It is fantastic. I want everybody to be a part of it. We all deserve some healing, okay? It's great. I also have, um, I do offer complimentary healing sessions on my Instagram story as well, okay? So usually when I'm guided, I'll go ahead and do that. So let's see what's happening for your forecast. How are you guys doing? If you guys are feeling generous and would like, like to donate to the channel, I do have my cash app below. I have my in, uh, Indie Deck wish list. I have my PayPal and I have my Amazon wish list. Whoa, Pisces, I am feeling a lot of movement, a lot of intensity for the end of the month for you. Um, there's a huge, huge, huge wave of opportunity coming in. So I am feeling a lot of blues and purples for you. So there's an activation of your third eye. There's an activation of this indigo energy. So a lot of crown chakra energy, you guys. Some of you are starting a new path, sun, moon, rising. You are starting a new path in school. There's an educational path here. So I'm also getting, um, yes, we have energy of the ancients. This movement is going to be incredibly powerful for you guys. And the reason why it's powerful is because it feels like it's in alignment with your, your soul mission, your north node, okay? It does feel like um, it's something that you have been waiting for, um, something that it's like... You know, I'm getting a lot of energy around wanting change. A lot of you have been wanting some kind of change in your life, and you are going to make this happen for yourself. I am having a vision of a letter of acceptance for you at the end of the month. So welcome in. Yes, a lot of opportunity. And I'm also getting a lot of agility and speed, you guys. So some of you are moving very quickly or some of you guys are making a very fast decision in matters of love or career, okay? Um, we do have deep perspective and reverse. So Pisces, at the end of the month, what's going on for your opportunity? So there is, I'm getting a lot of energy around you're rebuilding a beautiful castle. It looks like you're rebuilding a home, okay? You're rebuilding a huge environment. This could be home for you, or this could be a workspace for you, but you're taking on a new path, and this is going to require a level of surrender of ego because initially, a lot of you guys have been facing, I'm getting a lot of opposition from people. Maybe people are like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, there's been a lot of negativity. So we have release your fears in reverse. And you're just going to go ahead and do it, okay? Some of you, I am getting modeling. You've been wanting to model. For others, you've been wanting to, um, you know, start. It's like I'm having a vision of weaving. Maybe you're trying to uh, use arts and crafts to weave something here, okay? Um, I'm also getting a lot of learning, learning who you are through you know, trade school or like you're learning how to craft things with your hands, you're learning how to bead and you will be moving into a new business with this if you are creatively inclined, which is absolutely wonderful. Wow. Okay. Let's see Pisces general energies. Okay. So we have anticipation and excitement, a lot of sacral energy, you guys, a lot of sacral chakra. So your creativity is going to be incredibly, incredibly powerful. So there's a transformative experience as well at the end of the month. Um, 
there's going to be like a letter of resignation in regards to a past contract here or a job from the past that no longer serves you. Some of you are feeling a little bit afraid of maybe moving forward, but your guides are saying, you know, it's okay. Allow yourself to let go of this stuff. If it's a nine to five and you know this is not for you, don't be afraid to let it go, you guys. Don't be afraid to abandon, you know, um, situations that are not really conducive for your growth, okay? So let's go ahead and see what else. Wow. So You guys, some of you guys are going to start from the bottom up, okay? So I am getting like a little stand. So you're going to start, this is a metaphoric example of my vision here, a symbolism. You're going to start something from the bottom to top, okay? It's going to take some time, but I feel like a lot of you guys are going to find this incredibly um, wonderful, okay? It's going to be really wonderful. It's You're growing and planting new seeds, and I do feel this is going to be a brand new environment for you. There's going to be a lot of focus and a lot of determination around it. Okay. So look at that. We have thought, look at, look at you manifesting your dreams, Pisces. Yes. You have this duality here. You have fire as your elements. A lot of you guys are crafting this brand new. It's like you're ready. Your guides are saying you're ready for something new. You've been working on it in silence. You've been kind of, you know, keeping it to yourself. So this is a good time. It's like you're you're putting in the last ingredients for this new business. So let's go ahead and see here. Pile, excuse me, Pisces. General. Wow. I want you guys to um, trust your spirit guides, you guys, because you're you're being guided right now. There's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of star energy by you right now. So this is about mapping out your true node, mapping out where you're supposed to be. Please trust that even if you're not making a lot of money right away, that things can shift for you because this is very doable for you. Okay. So let's go ahead and see here. Pisces in general. Let's see here. Some of you have the support of people around you and some of you don't, but if you have, there there will be a masculine in your life who's going to gonna help you um, elevate your dreams, okay? This person is, it's almost like they're a father figure, you guys, or they're just incredibly generous. Okay, so let's see. Wow, look at you rebuilding yourself. Pisces, look how beautiful this looks. Some of you guys are deciding to be in the industry of modeling, uh, theater, acting. For others, this is about you're taking a hard look at yourself to see what it is that you want to do, how you want to conquer your, your dreams, how you want to move forward, okay? General for Pisces. Wow. Yep. A lot of you guys are embarking on this brand new journey of self-fulfillment, self-prophecy. You're, you're letting go and you're being guided to trust your instincts. Some of you guys are being given the gift of clairvoyance. At the end of the month, you're going to notice a huge opening of your third eye or... If you're working in the craft, you're going to see an enormous amount of power around, um, you know, around your, your abilities for others. Um, there's just a lot of, some of you, it's like, I don't know, you're holding on to something Pisces that you should not hold on to. Maybe it's fear. Maybe it's fear of your greatness. So let go of needing to hold on to something that is not um that's not for you 
Okay, don't be afraid of your soul mission, you guys. Right now, my guides are, are really pinpointing the seventh house energy for you in, in matters of work, career general. So this is about building a relationship to your future partner. If you guys have one, if not, you will be meeting somebody that you can grow with, that you could become allies with. But when you think about the seventh house, the seventh house is also about marriage. It's also about um, allies and enemies. So there's a lot of movement in terms of collaboration and partnerships. Yeah. Excuse me, let's talk about love, shall we? Can we talk about love? Let's talk about love. Okay, Pisces. Some, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. There's something you guys are not seeing in love, Pisces. There's a very powerful movement in love. There's something that's hidden. I'm having a vision of an owl kind of walk in front of you. So there's a very mysterious energy in love, especially if you're dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? There's there's some manipulation here behind the scenes with this person. There's a lot of uh, strategizing or a lot of um, infidelity. There's a lot of infidelity with this person. And if not um, an air sign Pisces, this is someone who has hidden agendas. So I would just be careful, if, especially if their name starts with a Z or um, someone who is a little bit aloof. I would say um, I'm also getting an energy here of specifically Gemini or a fire sign, a Sag, you guys. There's some manipulation around your emotions or you are feeling as if this person is throwing you off. So the only reason why, yes, Pisces, look, there's either spell work being done or there's some kind of energy manipulation happening, but there's a lot of um, trying to bind you into a contract or trying to hold you into something that you don't want to be in or vice versa. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with another water sign, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, who is um, hiding a secret affair, and this is going to come out to you guys. There's some hidden information in love. Please be aware of who you are meeting because make sure they are telling you the truth and everything about the truth, okay? So we do have the Four of Cups. Wow. Pisces in love. I'm also getting um, kind of a back and forth energy with a karmic, okay? If you're dealing with a uh, Cancer or a Scorpio, there's a lot of back and forth here with this person, and this person is a karmic partner. I'm not getting um, that this is an actual, like... So there's going to be a transition, you guys. Pisces, my loves, you have specifically a Taurus masculine or you have an Aries Leo, a new energy coming in, specifically a Leo, standing strong for you, wanting to be there for you. But some of you guys have to clear this out. Whatever it is that you feel, it's almost like you feel like this person is offering you love. Let me show you. This person is offering you love, sun, moon, rising, and you don't want it. <clears throat> Or you are feeling as if something has lost its spice or this is how they're feeling about you. They're, they're waiting for you. They're holding space for you. And there's a level of not wanting to really fight for it. Wow, Pisces. Okay, Pisces in love. At the end of the month. Yes, we have an illumination process as well. Someone from the past is coming back in to try to reconnect with you. And a lot of you guys are like, talk to the hand because the face ain't listening. You're not having it. Okay. You're not having it. So we have the Five of Cups in reverse, Pisces, in love. Wow. At the end of the month. Oh my gosh. You guys, 
Okay, some of you guys have someone coming in who did not recognize you in the past and now they're going to come in with a lot of tears, a lot of, can I get another chance? Can I get a second chance at this? Because some of you guys are going to be moving on. I'm getting a lot of movement here. You're letting go. You're saying it is what it is. I'm going to try to find my joy, try to find my happiness, okay? And you're, you're getting rid of the toxicity in your life and you're moving forward to a Leo, a lot of you guys are going to end up with a Leo here, someone who has a lot of, uh, maybe they're, they're very powerful in terms of um, fame, or they're very present in the public eye, and they're coming in very, very powerful, like, I want you, okay? So, whoa, how exciting. Let's go ahead and see a little bit more. Pisces. Some of you guys are not happy about someone that you just walked away from or someone that walked away from you. So I'm, I'm actually guided to get in a little bit of the no, no contact. If you are in no contact with someone, what's going on? So we have the Page of Pentacles. Okay. No contact. We have the Ace of Pentacles. What's going on with your person if you're in no contact here? So, whoa, someone is coming in with a lot. See, I'm telling you, the minute you walked away from this person, that's exactly when they want you. Someone here is abundantly in love with you in secrecy. And I say secrecy because they're, they're holding back and they want to keep you, but they're not doing this the right way. Does that make sense? Like they're not really living in their power, Pisces. And a lot of you are feeling this with this no contact. They're working. Some of you, they're working on their, um, their life purpose and their money. But I will say it's like now it's like nostalgia. They look at you and they're like, I remember when you were mine. Wow. Nine of Pentacles. This person is not as independent as they seem, Pisces. So don't give the illusion too much of a reality here. You're dealing with um, an earth sign. Specifically, if you have a no contact situation with an earth sign, Pisces, this person, they are not, this person has not forgotten about you. They are incredibly codependent. Um, you know, they're very dependent on you and very dependent on your love, okay? So let's see what's going on. One more for no contact, you guys. Two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, some of you, they chose someone else. Now they're coming back in at the end of the month, revved up for you, and a lot of you guys are saying, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, my loves, thanks so much.